Good morning YouTube! Um, this is the last of the five plants I got from eBay. When this arrived it had the last flower spike still on it but the flowers were fading. So um, all the pseudo bulbs I can find on here are matured. Except for this one, this is not completely fully plumped up to a nice pseudo bulb. And because it's already flowered this year, I think I have to repot it, give it some space and allow new growth to grow maybe next winter. I have no clue the growing pattern of this plant, but um, since uh, I am at the moment not doing very well with my experimentations and trying to repot things in semi-hydro, I'm going to stick to the uh, potting media that Wade from Wade Orchids advised. I made a mix with uh, chunky bark, charcoal and a few big lacquer pebbles. I prepared a 15 centimeter pot, put uh, charcoal in the bottom and some big lacquer to make, uh, I don't know, uh, how you call it, the drainage. And so that if there is any water standing in the pot that the roots won't stand in water because I have been told that the brescia really hates to be in standing water. It needs a lot of water when it's growing, but it needs a fast draining, non-acidic media because it hates decomposing media. The moment the media starts to decompose, all the roots are rotting away. That's the reason why I actually should have repotted this right away, but I hadn't had time. So I'm going to do it now and let's see how bad I'm going to get punished for procrastinating and taking care of other things. Um, since you all know I don't have a tripod yet, I did order one I think three days ago, but I ordered it from AliExpress and that's in China. It's really cheap but it also takes has uh, a no shipping fee and I have to wait three weeks. So I hope to get my tripod in a few weeks, but until that moment I have to pause the video and come back to you when it's all cleaned up. If there are any bugs, any surprises, I will let you know and film that too. Well, see you later. Bye! I so have to show you this root ball. Um, I was expecting rotting roots and this looks pretty decent. There's a tiny bit of mold on there. I will spray that with a hydrogen peroxide, but overall, I think this is a plant that I won't kill. So yay for the nice roots. You did good. Yes, plant, you did good. I'm happy. Well, see you later. Bye. There I was again. Uh, I cleaned the roots and this is the best root system I have in my collection. It has no bugs. It has no eggs, it has no pests, it has no... It had the sphagnum plug, but I managed to get rid of it all. The, re the roots are all alive, they're all flexible. I haven't cut any, I'm not going to cut any. And um, what I did do, and stupid me, um, uh, every plant has its own natural parts. Uh, where you can divide it and while rinsing it uh, one part tipped over and it broke off. The roots are still tangled together I'm still keeping it in there as one plant because it was one plant so I just realized that for eight euros I'm not sure if I can get it in frame for eight euros I bought a monster plant I cannot get it in frame wait there we go So it's a mature one plant, it's not uh, multiple stick in one pot, um, but stupid me, broke one piece off, but I'm going to let it stay in there and I'm going to pot it up and after it's done I'm going to show you the end result and that's the end of the update of the five eBay plants I got from Thai orchids and more. Um, I have to say the plants with the bugs 
if I have a problem, if a plant dies, uh, I got the money back for my sherry baby. If the zygopetalum keels over, I get my money back. Um, he has very healthy orchids. The roots of the zygopetalum were amazing. The roots of this plant are amazing. I paid seven and a half for the zygopetalum. I paid eight one for this. I paid six for the sherry baby. So the prices are laughable. Um, I'm not sure if he ships internationally, but go check it out. It's Thai orchids and more. I am so freaking happy. See if I can get this in the sun and get a better, lighter shot. Nope. Well, that's too bad. Well, we're gonna see it. And here it is. This is my Brassia No ID fully potted up and hanging on my, oui, on my fence. Yes. Next to my Kingianum. Um, so yeah, that's my Brassia. And I'm actually very, very pleased. I have a, a few more of those hanging basket type thingies. So I think my Zygopetalum and my other Brassia going to be um, hanging on my fence too. Well, thank you very much for watching. Wishing you all a very lovely day. Lots of sunshine, lots of happiness. And whatever well wishes you can think of. Bye!